Hi everyone, it's Chris here with Action for Elders. Um, today I want to talk about mental health um, in the first of a series of clips that will be posted over the coming weeks. Um, obviously we're entering a time at the moment where we've gone from kind of a million miles an hour, most of us, down to kind of zero, down to nothing. So that implies a degree of, of stillness within all of us um, that a lot of us might not necessarily be used to. Um, so over the coming weeks, I want to talk about this state of change that we're in and the fact that we've gone from kind of this to a point where our lives have been sort of compressed, for want of a better word, um, into this situation where we're having to deal with stuff in a different way. Some of us are working from home. Some of us obviously aren't working at all. Um, and above and beyond that, it might just be a case of the fact that... Um, away from the daily frenetic activity that we're used to, jutting around, going here, there and everywhere, we're kind of in this, this void at the moment where that's not the case any longer. So I want to talk about the fact that we're in this sort of state of change and try and go into what that actually means for us in terms of how we deal with that going forward and how our mental health plays a part in that, in terms of looking after ourselves uh, spiritually, mentally, um, obviously as well as physically, because granted, obviously the two go very much hand in hand. Um, if you look after your organism, um, then obviously the mind which is housed within that organism has to be healthy as well, because the two very much marry up. So, yes, it's it's obviously very good for us to get out, especially on a day like today when it's nice and sunny, the sky is blue, um, to get out and get some vitamin D from the sun, to get out and get some the endorphins that are released from good exercise, whether it be a brisk walk or whatever it might be. Spending time outdoors really does us actually the world of good. But obviously I want to point out as well that we live in a time in... The 21st century now where there's a great degree of emphasis toward taking care of ourselves in an outward sense you know in terms of how we look we go to the gym we walk we swim you know you do whatever you do to to keep yourself healthy but how often do we actually address what's going on inwardly and that's one of the things that i want to try and think about um, over the, the coming weeks in a series of clips that we're going to do so yeah, trying to actually take a look at yourself and the activity of your mind um, in this period of stillness that, that we find ourselves in. We're going to look at various things that we can put in place and sometimes it might not necessarily even be changing too drastically. It might just be a change in our perception of things. So quite a lot of the time... Um, our mind, especially in a period of, of stasis, will search for something to worry about. You know, now at the moment, obviously, with everything going on in the news, surrounded by, you know, COVID-19 and what's happening, uh, we have enough to worry about in that sense of what it is, even if it's not directly touching us, you know, in terms of our loved ones or whatever. But the mind's uh, mechanical activity is one such that uh, it will search for things to worry about even when you have a, a period of okay you, you might find you'll sit there and you think oh actually everything's fine everything's okay I, I don't need to you know this is okay that's okay bank's paid for you know money's all right I don't actually need to worry about anything you know and it's quite a funny thing because at that exact moment you'll find that your mind will go oh and it will start to bounce from one subject to the other and search in this preliminary kind of you know around the outside of all of these different things and it will start to read in between the lines and try to find things that it can attach itself to to concern itself with so the way that we can kind of help that um, subside is to have an awareness of our thoughts okay and just in that awareness it's a, it's a funny thing it allows you to take a little bit of a step back from that thought process and the kind of incessant mental activity that goes on and revolves around in us. 
um, it allows us to take a step back from that and actually go, oh, okay, I can see what's kind of happening, you know. It allows you to detach yourself just slightly and observe what's going on in your mind without actually being becoming uh, enraveled in it and kind of immersed in it. So, that, you know, the old saying, obviously, you can't see the woods for the trees. You can actually take a little bit of a step back and just go, oh, okay. And that's your first step, really, in being able to control, not so much control, but be aware and actually to be able to touch those thoughts, you know. Obviously, in subsequent videos, we'll go into uh, meditation and meditative methods and this and that and the other, but meditation and a meditative process is exactly that. Meditation means to touch or listen to the mind, okay? And that's exactly what we'll be going through in some of these clips, is, is a way that we can actually become a little bit more intimately acquainted with the process of, of our mind and the patterns that it ensues, okay? And, and that will be different from all of us because we're all from different backgrounds. We all have different things going on in our lives. So what my mind will do will be different to what the next person's mind will do and, and ad infinitum. But these structures actually, once you know something about one person's mind or i.e. if you know something about your own mind, actually you'll learn that we're, we're not that dissimilar all of us in the in in that way so a lot of the time these kind of prerequisites um apply to to all of us you know so like i say it's it's i, I love that expression it's about touching or listening to your mind and that's exactly what it is you know and don't be perturbed if if on the initial outset you you find oh okay my mind's really busy and i didn't realize i've got all these thoughts going on that actually prob probably means moreover then actually for the first time you're you're actually starting to just listen and realize what's going on and, and through that process of listening that will be a way of helping those thoughts subside that's not to say uh, and it's an important point this that's not to say that they'll stop altogether um, but they will be less intense and a little more quiet and i think this is what this is about is just giving us a degree of acceptance about the quietness that we currently have in our lives and actually taking a step back in a very common sense kind of accepting kind of way and just saying do you know what that's that's okay you know so i'm going to the next video will be about mindfulness which we'll post in the next few days hope you've enjoyed today's video please keep a lookout for more videos on the action for elders youtube channel and thank you very much for your time